The first Ant-Man was Dr. Henry Hank Pym, introduced in Tales of Tornation number 35 in 1962, but he became one of my favourite Marvel characters in this comic, Avengers AI number 5, 2013, in which Hank described himself as bipolar, followed by the best representation of mental health management I had seen in superhero comics at the time. Ants, on the other hand, are one of my favourite animals. I fell in love with ants uh, in university, learning about how they and other Hyenopterans, that includes Ant-Man's partner the Wasp, as well as Hank Pym's alter, alter ego Yellow Jacket, how they live you socially, how they determine sex, and how they use scent trails to solve the travelling salesman problem. Now, ants use a combination of those scent trails, body language, and the sound from the scraping of their legs to communicate with each other. Hank Pym and the Ant-Men who followed use a helmet to communicate and control ants. In the Ant-Man film, Hank claims to use some electromagnetic mumbo-jumbo to stimulate the ant's olfactory neural centre. Olfactory refers to the sense of smell. So, in other words, Ant-Men use the scent trails part of ant communication to talk to ants and control them.